hi guys. Making a quick video on this teddy bear. I'm going to see how we can creep him out. Now what I'm using is some paint. A couple of different reds there and a black. Some scissors. Some of these that I bought from the discount store here in Wontaggy. You can probably find them um, in discount stores where they have the costume section. They're just like claws. You could even use the long nails if you wanted to. Anything like that will do. Hot glue gun. A heat gun. And of course, the teddy bear. So let's get started. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these nails black. Got my black paint here. You can paint them any colour you like, but I'm just painting them black. Okay, that's one. I'm going to do four on each paw. Okay, so now all those nails are painted. I'm just doing his um, his arms. You can do the feet as well if you want to. Um, so while they're waiting, they're drying, and we're waiting for that. I'll show you something else that you can do to the teddy using the hot glue gun and the heat gun and some of that red paint. Alright, so I've put the nails aside to dry. Um, what we'll do, I'm thinking, get my scissors and I might just cut him so we can give him a scar on his face. Sometimes this material is really hard, so. So I'm just going to cut his head up like that, like cut it past down his eye. So the stuffing here, what you want to do is just pull that out a bit, just like that. I'll plug in my heat gun. So we've got the heat gun. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is basically how I scar up my teddies. So just get the heat gun and just on this part here, um, just gradually. Don't hold it on there because this stuff will burn. So we're only doing it bit by bit, lightly. So hopefully you can see what's happened there as I've been doing that. That is pretty soft and it's very, very hot. So you just leave that just for a little bit. Let it cool down, it'll harden up. With the heat gun, um, you 
you can make your teddies like this look a little bit older um, just by doing it on the fur the hot gun but like I said not too much because it will burn you're just sort of melting it down a bit so that's getting a little bit cooler now and it's hardening up a bit but it's still soft um, so it is you know pretty squishy it's another way of just making them look a little bit more scruffy so I, I normally just do a little bit all over the body just to make it make him look a bit scruffy and um, a little bit older, a bit worn. Okay, so he looks a bit more worn and scruffy looking now. It just melts his fur just a little bit and makes it, you know, so it's a little bit more creepy looking. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is get the hot glue gun. plugs but I don't. And we'll let that heat heat up and I'll show you what we will do next to this teddy. Alright now the hot glue gun's all heated up. Um, you hopefully you can clearly see the difference between how this teddy started and the way his fur and everything is now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this scar that's all cooled down now and it's got a bit of firmness to it but it's still squishy. So we just get the hot glue gun and just run it around, hopefully you can see, run it around those parts where you want the fur to stick down a little bit. And if you want it coming up so it's jaggy, put the hot glue on that. Once that dries, it'll stay there. Um, some of the really big spaces, you might want to fill up a little bit with the hot glue. Sometimes you can't get in there quite, get in there with the, um, the paintbrush. Sort of just um, keeps the so you can sort of make the under the fur that's opening up, look like it's got skin on it underneath so I'll just fill some of these gaps a little bit the best I can that are a little bit too big I'll just have to wait and see if I can get in there get this fur secured down hot glue. Like I said you can make this so it all opens up like that just by putting the hot glue on it and holding it. Once it dries it will keep it like that.
The other thing you can use the hot glue to do is when he's fur around the outside of where he's obviously been cut open, just put, dab some glue on there and that's where you can put the blood and everything just like that. So he's going to look pretty scarred up. before it you know um, cools down just go like that and pull it back so you get that stringy like it's being ripped open look Just let him cool down. You can also give him a squeeze like that. Just try and get it how you want it. You might have to hold it for a few minutes to keep this all open. Just like that. Also, what you can do is where the cut is down here, if you want to run some glue, just so it looks like it's dripped down, just like that. And just let that run. And we'll let Teddy cool down and we'll move on to the next part. Just be careful when you're doing this because the hot glue is very hot and it does stick to your fingers. Right, now that he's all cooled down, that's all cooled down, um, just snip that. Now, while we've still got the hot glue on, I'm going to stick his nails in because they're dry. Now, the scissors, they were not real good at piercing through this thick fur so I'm just going to make a hole just there keep that in there I'm just going to put some hot glue on this the end here One, put another one. This fur is pretty thick, so put another hole there. Hot glue. It. He 
he's got some good claws on this hand. Just got to do the other one now. So Ted's looking pretty good right now. He's got his claws on. And uh, now we're going to be working on this scar here. So what we're going to do first, just put him over there and get our paints. We need some black and some dark red. I've already got some black there so I can use that. Get some red. Get my paintbrush. Just mix a little bit of black with the red, just so it makes it um, really dark. And I'll put the dark colour in first. Hoping you can see how dark that is. It's like a really dark red burgundy colour. It's going to get Ted. I'm going to start just get that paint and just start really blobbing it in to all parts. Inside. Try and get inside all those grooves. Blob it on pretty thick and it will fill up any little spaces that you can't really get into. Okay, so he looks pretty shocking at the moment. Um, so we've got to let that dry just a little bit. Um, not too dry because you sort of want to mix the, the colours. So just let that dry for a little bit and come back and do the next shade of red on that. Start highlighting how gruesome that is. I've let him sit for a bit. Now what I'm going to do is this leftover dark red that I've used. I'm going to add some more of this. Give that a mix up. So it'll darken that but it's sort of, it's not as dark as the colour that I've used before. I want it a bit lighter. So it's sort of one shade up from what I've done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it and just dab it on so it's not going right down in the creases so they're being left 
bit darker. If you can see it on the camera here, but it is it's just a tad lighter. Just dabbing that off. Okay. So while that one's still wet, I'm gonna get just some of the normal dark red. I'm not gonna mix that. I'm just going to do the same thing, just dabbing it in different areas, just making it so it mixes into those other colours, but it's highlighting different parts, so it's not going into the creases, I want them darker. Okay, so I've got a lighter colour red here, so I'm just going to add some of that to the darker red. So there it is there, hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to mix that. So it's slightly a lighter colour. Just going to do the same thing, but just touch it around certain areas. Don't, you know, put too much because you don't want to cover up all that other work that you've just done, just highlighting some of the details. Just once again, just have a bit of a look at it, see if there's any spots that you might like a bit more highlight on. Just dab around the outside of the fur here, a little bit of that colour. Alright, He's looking pretty gruesome now, so he's going to have to dry. Let's see if I can get a bit closer so you can have a, a good look at that in there. Now once he's all dry, what I normally do is I just get some um, gloss acrylic um, spray and I'll just spray inside there and it will make it all glossy so it looks wet and um, yeah, 
they look pretty good I reckon and then if you want to you can put his arms I'm thinking of something I don't want to touch that because it's wet something like this where he's holding his head um, yeah well you can just leave him like that so you can just sort of pose him and sit him wherever you like um, but that's basically it guys um, that's how you create a creepy gory bear and how I create the wounds so I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great Halloween.